Hello folks, welcome back to Kernet EXP and welcome to Stibian's Dam. So, we're going to have a little look to see if the water's gone up. So just shut the gate there a minute. There we go. It does look like the water has gone up. Not by a tremendous amount, I must say, but it has gone up. So, hope everyone's good. I've uh, just adjusted the, the other GoPro for um, motorcycle rides, so I've got it stuck directly on top of the helmet now, uh, using one of the older helmets for a, for a short while, but um, yeah, so we're uh, going back to what we used to do, which is a point of view, i.e. first person view motorcycle rides, which I think is good. So what we're doing now is we're going to walk across here now and get to the other side, find a nice little spot to hide away and then send a drone up to see what or how much water we've uh, increased. It looks like it has gone up, which is good. So they've been doing lots of work down there, folks. As you can see, there's new buildings going up, new uh, earthworks and what have you. So, yeah, a lot of work going on. It will cost a shit ton of money as well. Right, so this is the... Usually by now, folks, the water is getting close to where we are, but unfortunately it's not. So I hope everybody's enjoying the videos. I'm trying to keep it fresh and new, folks. It is difficult at times uh, to keep coming up with different locations because Cornwall's well, where we're to, there's only so much you can see and do, basically. Oh, it was really windy there. I don't know if you heard that or no. Blipping out. Jeez. Good job we got the dead cat on. So we'll get down on that beach there in a minute and we'll, we'll walk across. Massive granite coins there. Granite coins are big pieces of granite that's been shaped to be used to made into houses and so on and so forth. Folks, <coughs> a little bit dark on the screen. I do apologise. We'll we'll just get around a minute, and then we'll be sorted. Oh, golly gosh! Yeah, it's going to be a bit of a challenge for the drone today, I think. Well, I don't think, I'm pretty sure it will be a little bit of a challenge, but we should be all good. Right. <coughs> okay. Down on the beach. Beach sand, folks. Yeah, apparently they wanted to do this to mimic a proper beach back in the 60s, I think it was. Could be wrong on that. Hang on a minute, folks. I've got a bit of a breeze coming up me. Up my side. Yeah, look at this, beach sand. Amazing, eh? I think this is was, uh, has actually came from a proper beach somewhere. Where? I don't know. So yeah, so let's have a look at the current depth of the water a minute, because it looks like it has gone up, but not by much. Okay, so it's just below, from what I can see right there, it's just below four meters, folks, which, that's pretty low, isn't it, really? Usually by now, we're, we're over six meters. So that's basically a knock-on effect from this summer that we've had, because it was extremely hot, wasn't it? So hopefully, over the next two, three months, it should come up a lot more. Anyway, enough waffling about that. There's some houses that were flooded here back in the day when this was being created. And uh, 
round here somewhere, the, the remains of it was still intelligible, if you know what I mean. So. Right, so I'm not going to walk and film all the way round, folks. I'm just going to go so far. Uh, it's because my hand's getting cold. <laughs> And it's bloody windy. We know we've got the dead cats, but there's only so much you can do with, with wind like this. So we'll keep going for a bit yet, but not all the way around. No way. A lot of stone here. That's a big ass piece of granite, isn't it? Jeez. The size of that minute. Well, someone's found something on top there, folks, isn't it? An old washer. Yeah. Right out. So, the next bit you see will be the drone footage. Hope you enjoy it, folks. We'll see you soon. Cheers and God.
Do hope you enjoyed the video, folks. We will be back very soon indeed with some great new videos. See you then, folks. Cheers and gone.